Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Evan Carthy from EvanCarthy.com. Today is September 2nd, 2019, and we're going to look at the S&P futures, the uh, E-minis, S&P 500, uh, NASDAQ, and also oil. We're going to look at what happened today and what we're looking forward to tomorrow based upon the setups I use. So we'll start off here looking at the SP 500. As I mentioned the other day, this weekend when I did it, um, <clears throat> it price looks like it's going to break this blue line. It's looking like it's going to come back down here to the bottom to around 2025. 20, so using the one hour chart right here, that's kind of what happened here today. We'll go here on the 15 minute chart. You see price used as support um, a little bit and then broke down. Now it looked look like it's going to use the blue line as resistance uh, coming back tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm looking for a, uh, a short um, day, looking for a downward day here in the S&P 500. Uh, let's see if there's any, there we go. Let's see if there's any trades down here we could perhaps take. Right here, we are. It looks like we are in a springboard reversal trade. Let's see something here, real quick. Okay, not quite there yet. May not go and hit there, but it's gonna be a little bit far away. So technically, we are in the springboard short or springboard long setup. Price came down, didn't hit the 123 extension. Come up here and hit the 23.6. So that got us in there. So the current exit is going to be up here at the 50% trade, uh, 29.12.50. And then after that, that's over and forward to complete. But if it doesn't hit that and price comes down here and hits the blue line right here, then we move the exit up here to the 23.6% extension level, which is 29.03.25. But then if price just goes super crazy, it goes down here to the uh, negative 1.6 1.8 extension level then we move the exit um to the zero that's the last time we'd move it but that's for i guess for initially i'm looking at uh price going up here in 2912 and then uh probably sell selling off tomorrow is based upon those setups what uh i'm looking for right now so let's see here let's go down to the uh continuous contract right here down here and see if there's anything a little bit different going on with it we're still looking at the this long-term short to come down here and get complete down here at around um, 2703 so looking at starting out for uh, tomorrow uh, it may be an overnight session it may come up a little bit um, around 2912 ish or so but I am looking for more downside to the market this thing got broken right here and this trend line got broken and it's looking like this is going to be used as a resistance level to it so um, definitely looking for uh, the market to eventually turn lower tomorrow for the S&P 500 so now as for the NASDAQ market, let's take a little bit longer time frame. Looking at that hourly chart, I'm obviously messing around over here when I did that. Oops, did that. Ready. These off of it. So NASDAQ right now is, again, you can see it's just kind of in uh, a little range mode right now. You got the upper one down here, lowered one down over there. So right now it's just a range bottom market right here in the NASDAQ, kind of like what the S&P 500 is uh, right there. You can see over here, using that and that, price came down, broke that trend line, use that as resistance, and now it looks like it could be going a little bit lower. Uh, the, I don't trade off trend lines, they're just used as good after the fact things and where you think the market is headed. So that one did break, and so the immediate downside we're looking at is moving down lower. But if price, check this out right here, if it does come up and break to the upside up here, then it could resume its trend um, up here. But currently, since it broke it down, this one right here, uh, we're looking at more movement down here to the downside with this use, being used as some resistance for it right there. Let's see if there's any Fibonacci levels we can look at that are being hit. Okay, that was the springboard setup. So let's go over here and look at 76.4. So that's a legit, legit. Let's see here. So price is currently in a long 76. Nope, excuse me. I'll take that back. You can see it hit down there, hit the 50%. So that one is done right there. On the one hour chart, we'll go down here in the real short time frame, the five minute chart, see if there's anything we can 
look for in here in your top of trades so this legit one yeah that would work there but price already came goodness gracious hit the 76.4 hit the 50 and got out of that trade so uh the nasdaq kind of like sp again still wait, wait and see mode but it's looking like there's going to be more resistance uh or, or more uh downside incoming all right, let's look at oil here real quick and zoom out a little bit here to the one hour chart. Oil's been going pretty crazy here the last couple of weeks. Let's see what this long one is up here. So we were just waiting on a trade up there that still hasn't been been filled yet. But in zooming in here right now, looks like we are just waiting on some trades to come back and get filled that one and let's see here you know what we are in a long trade right now for oil right now so we hit the 76.4 right there the exit's going to be up here at the 50 percent extension line at 55.25 so that's the target for it they're looking for this price is currently at 54.78 so the current current exit we're looking at is 55.25 but the price does not hit the exit up here but continues to go down lower and hits the uh blue line 100 percent level at 53.59 then you'd enter there and then the exit you move to the 76.4 line uh just a little below it at about 50 or 35 but if price hits the blue line didn't come up at the purple line and just continues to tank majorly all the way down here to the upper 40s down to about 48.22 you get in there and then you move the exit um up here to 63.59 and that'd be the last time you move the exit so Currently, we are in a long trade setup for oil right there. So we're definitely looking for it to be a little bit bullish, at least in the short term, until this trade setup right here gets to complete. Uh, that's the one-hour chart that we are looking at from there. So that's going to about do it for today. One, give you at least uh, a setup, anything we could find right there. There's one live one right there in oil uh, in the S&P 500. Uh, we're still just kind of in a wait and see mode to see what's happened. I'm looking for more downside to the market, even though we still have this up upper white box we need to hit this long setup up here at about 29.69.25 i'm still looking for uh more weakness in the market since the trend line got broken right here although it is has been using the 2.618 from the 76.4 long move here as uh, some support level for it but since this got broken i'm looking for it, that trend line going up to be used as resistance now and for price to continue to come down a little bit more and then uh same thing from the nasdaq right now we're also in a uh, support and resistance box uh right here you see the support levels you see the resistance levels right here then we have have price came broke that trend line use it as resistance and it's gone lower still so if price it does come and break this upper trend line up here then we could see it working its way up there but until it does that we're definitely looking for more short side in the nasdaq market as well so anyways hope that helped go and do one of these every day take care have a good one talk to you later bye